All right, guys, I just want to take a few minutes. I'm working on this video right now, and I realize it might be somewhat confusing for people. First off, our channel as content creators is really just a personal story for us. Um, if, you, if you're new to our channel and you're like, what the heck is this video about? Realize we just tell our story however we want to. We're normally making a cinematic video and all over the place. But right now with our off-grid property, we are a little more scattered, not so structured in what we're filming just because we don't know what we're doing. That said, I still want to put out these videos because it's really important for me to capture all these moments, not really for you guys, but really for us, right? We wanted to remember all of this. We have visions of our kids, our grandkids, our great grandkids watching these videos and going, oh my gosh, look what my my parents, my grandparents, my great grandparents did out here because we are transforming everything. So bear with us through this style of videos, more of a vlog and kind of cutscenes. We'll get back to that more cinematic stuff later. Remember, you can always like and subscribe to our channel if you're interested. But now to the video. I'll be back in a bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, we could have got the going. There goes the love shot. Oh, gang. I'll fix that. Sean and Don here. But his camera's all janked. Don't camera's crash. all janked. I can't crash, guys. We're stopping our life. Well, slight change of plans, gang. We're supposed to be heading to Lake Chelan right now. To the BDR. To the BDR, five and six. But we're not. We're not. Why? I'm not sad. She's not terribly sad not because sad about it. instead we're gonna go work on our new property um, that we we love. It just kind of all came together that way. It did. I think different. I, I want to say it's God's plan. So yep. here's why. Um, there's fires broken out, and so section five, the first probably half of it um, from Chelan to, I can't remember where, Cooley essentially is closed, closed because of fires. Um, not all the fires in those areas uh, are actually blocking the trails, but uh, I think the one's called Pioneer Fire. It's within eight miles. Um, it's the big one. It's within eight miles of the High Line. And I was talking to our kids, Reese and Gretchen, who work DNR and our wildland firefighters and they said they'll usually close gates with up to 20 miles away especially if they see it's a fast moving fire so all of that's closed and for our standpoint we've done section one two three and four complete um, and we're not going to go drive seven hours to get to the trailhead not to be able to do it complete so that's on hold for this year it seems kind of like poetic so the temporary plan for that next year is that since Mike and Reese and Gretchen haven't done section one and two and, and five and six, is that we're thinking we'll take a little bit longer trip and we'll knock out section one and two and then we'll quickly head up to via highway to the start of section five and six and complete that. And then we can all high five and say we've all officially started. That's gonna be the plan for next year. But for now, the light's green and we're gonna to head to our ocean property and we're hoping to just gain just a little bit more advantage on that view. We'll take Dawn did her first gate opening. And I'm lock challenged. You're locking it up, babe. I got it. Well, gang, how many days has we been out here? Four. Four days, but I'm happy to say we are getting it down quicker now with this setup. Um, we got down here, we're all set up. We got our kind of our working bin over there. We got our relax station. Just brought one power uh, power bank this time because the Makita and that little six inch uh, chainsaw Man, it just does great. In fact, I bought a second one for Dawn. And then we got our main chainsaw there. So it took a little bit to get our systems in place, but I feel like we got them down for just what we needed. Next week, we're coming back out here. Bigger work group going to be in the van, so we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, time to relax. Big progress here. We have made a path down. And Dawn has made a perfect little tent spot out there already. 
super fun. But you gotta be careful where you walk out here, otherwise it's kind of like in a Rambo movie where you might get impaled on something. So no drunk walking here. This way. I would say that you do need some level of first, first picnic on the property. Careful. Now, this is. <laughs> This is really the uh, <laughs> next level. Next level bait experience. I mean, you got to parkour it. You're filming, carrying your food, and trying not to fall. And impale yourself. Impale yourself <laughs> and something the thing apart. terrible. But how can you not be excited about your first picnic? Ugh. And Don cleared a beautiful little spot pad that we're gonna put our blanket and take this in. You know, that, that marine layer. <laughs> Can't win them all, but you know what? Still great. Breakfast time. Look what Dawn's got us over here. She's got breakfast sandwiches. And some cherries. And cherries. Got her toaster kicking on the jack. A little music. Awesome, awesome. Gonna get after here soon, yeah. Gonna be awesome. Well, we got the first family guest showing up on the remote property. Welcome. <laughs> it's a fixer. Welcome to your inheritance. Yeah, welcome to your your living trust property. Fun. <laughs> what? Get dressed. We're already dressed. You don't see my suspenders? Woohoo! Get in here. We're going to walk you through this. What do you think? It's a fixer. <laughs> oh, you wait till you come around the corner, Gretchen. We have not filmed a damn thing today. We worked our butts off. Reese and Gretchen are down there, superstars. They're eating burgers um, and just trying to recover. They're like, you remember they work in the woods and they were like, this is pretty challenging stuff. Don and I had burgers too and took bucket showers and it's just been great how much work, how much we've done. And it's really fun working with your family out here doing this stuff because I mean, that's who it's all for, so. That's really fun too. And guys, it is two o'clock. Haven't been doing any filming it's Saturday. We're about ready to stop here about a half hour, but just getting things opened up. I cut a trail over to the far south side of our property so we can put eyes on that because we haven't been able to see that. Gretchen and Reese, who both are professional foresters, are showing us how it's done over here. And so, yeah, it's been amazing. We're having a great time. I'm gonna let you kind of run here in the background, capture some of this beauty that we have out here.
I'm resting. Dawn's still working. She's trying to uncover the old tree. It's beautiful. Yep, a lot of twisty stuff. That's the fun part of all this is just getting down and seeing all this, all these old trees that we're gonna preserve. But we don't wanna fall any of those things down. We wanna kind of clear them out and accentuate them a little bit. So it's a process. That's why we're not coming in here with a, just an excavator. We're trying to understand what's here so that we can keep everything pristine and beautiful but ideally park-like um, so it's going to be a lot of work a lot and a lot of work but we like working plan on doing it all by hand for the most part check out the spot the kids cleared out the spot a little bit more so we're going to sit here tonight I think and take that all in so here I hacked a, a path in to see the other side of the property, the south side of the property. We're going to actually preserve all this as well, but get it ready for tent camping and van camping, beautiful views. We just have to clear some of the, the fallen timber but outside of that we're not going to have to take anything else which is awesome because that's not what we want to do so super excited about just how this property all lays out for us and how we want to be just weaving like little spots like vignette spots for friends to bring vans friends to bring trailers friends to bring memories and then we want to do some youth ministry out here but so you see like the burl logs we love it so imagine these leaners have to come out right everything that's kind of leaning that's dangerous it's already dead but if we come through kind of around this corner, so if we come around the backside and we're gonna navigate in between all the live trees and what's, um, what's there after we take the leaners, but if we kind of come here and we have a Y that stops right about here, right, for a vehicle right about here, and then we can clear out that view, they'd have an amazing view. And then if we go the opposite way, right you'll have a y that goes this other direction and you can have a spot down there as well for someone to camp um yeah and it's just going to be epic i kind of hacked my way here's that burl again over there but i imagine right here this standing dead all these trees and then we have a back end spot here to where we clear out that brush the best we can and you'll have a southern view of the ocean um, this is just there's a bank on the other side is where it starts to fall in again and our property line is a little bit beyond that so yeah you can kind of skip up here I'm not wearing the best shoes, but you can kind of see that's where we're up on the drone up here. This is close to our property line, but we want to basically ex just keep all of this, right? Except those standing dead ones that are just falling over um, the little pecker poles and just as safely as we can, you know, maintain our view. I mean, right here this is where stuff has fallen in so we might not be able to clear it up as good as we'd like but as safely as we can we'll work with it and we have some pole saws maybe we can get that down further a 
Well guys, we're back at the property now, but this time we got even more help. We got Jake and his kids, his wife's not here. Jake's the other owner of this property. We're all partners on it. And so now we're all, you know, since everyone that is owner of the property is here, we're making some big decisions. And that includes taking down this cabin. Take a look, we got a lot of work going on. Take a look what Jake's doing here. It's coming down, guys. It's coming down. Jake has gotten the wild hair. Don wants it out. Did we take down the bug things that were inside? Yeah. So that thing's empty. All right. Don yeah, wants hey, it out. No. I don't want Lux over here right now. Yeah, it's a really dangerous spot, guys. Well, not everything goes according to plan, but it's part way down. Don's making dinner. Morning, gang. So it is Saturday morning. morning gang. Cabin's still partially down. <laughs> That's our job today, plus some other stuff. Last night, though, Jake came back here and we had that hornet's nest. And he put on his bee suit at night and went to go take care of it. And <laughs> after he started spraying on it, we think it was a dormant nest and uh, wasn't in use. but. It sure looked terrifying. Still, did, still looked terrifying. There, there were actually hornets on it. Um, but once again, I think they just, it was from maybe last season or something like that. So that's gone. And that get, led us to, now we can get out to this view spot that is um, probably the best. <laughs> and I just can't wait to show Dawn here. I came in, I did a, some cleaning. I've already taken some of these pecker poles that were dead down. I'd like to get in here again with Jake and see whether we can't clean up some of these other ones. But we'll see how we do with time today because that'll just cle clear up our sight lines too. But yeah, check this out. This is going to be one of our most pristine spots. You got to come here, babe. Look that way. Wow. He's gonna come in a little bit closer. Whoa. <laughs> kind of a fun little experiment too. We've been running the jackery down here. It's at 13%. <coughs> um, not a lot of great solar in here, but a little not trickle. Yet. But we had the laptop into that thing all day yesterday. I had to work remote. And then she's run the induction for at least 30 minutes continuously, um, at least throughout this time, because she had to cook tacos and all that last night for everyone. And the toaster has been running. 13% is not bad, um, trying to save the house batteries. And technically we have a generator here just because we weren't we sure. Have lots of we, we have tons of options here, but it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. Jake's gonna get in there and here's the plan for this morning is I ripped out a lot of that roof last last night. I'm ready for the ham um, But my shoulder If you remember I don't have a really great shoulder so that stuff is painful above 
So Jake's going to get up there, rip out the rest of the ceiling. Then we're going to try to get that metal off. And once we have that metal off, we're going to start cutting away the, the rafters with our chainsaws. And then we'll slowly just notch this thing apart. Yeah, it's just trying to find your first edge. Yeah, I got one, but then it was already kind of dry. Yeah, we're gonna clear all this brush. You know, all the helpful hands. What? How's that work go? The word go? Many hands Many make hands, hands make light work. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Nikia, you can help Helping too. hands? Something like that. What Grab, do we think, Jake? Go. I think we got a lot done this weekend. I think we have. Yeah. The two big items. Bring down the love shack. Kill the bees. Kill Hornet. the bees. That, that was your, your two Although big items. I think they were gone, but it's fine. And then come up with a game plan, which we kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> Guys, an update here. So, first off, my saw. This thing fused on. I can't even open it up and turn it. I have to take it in, but that's a downside to not having a nut on it. I put some blaster in it. All of that didn't work. You got any tips on how to avoid that? And don't tell me to buy a different saw. It's a still. It's just a new one. Let me know. Comment below. But so we got the Love Shack formula Love Shack down. This massive old growth stump we got out i guess i got it out um and it is it was huge i mean there it all is big old stump section and i'll cut these last little sections then i'm going to call it a day but this is where we're going to park um next week we're going to back straight in we got a little bit of a fixer on the the south side now well, let's be honest we got a fixer on the north side too but we have this beautiful view down here. We'll go find Dawn. I haven't seen her. She's been back here tootling, opening up views. Dawn is like the, the ninja of, of this clearing. She just comes back and she just works with her pruners a little bit at a time. And the next thing you know... She's got herself almost. Hi, Don. Hi. I got the big old growth out. You're right there. Awesome. Good job, babe. Look at this, guys. She created a little view spot here. Yeah. Butte. It's a butte. Ocean. Maybe take a little salal down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks great. So, Jake is done for the day. He's taking the kids down and letting them play for a bit because they've been superstars. Letting the adults get out here and do a bunch of work. But boy, look at all that opening. All of that is now open. And it's just... Just all kinds of, you know, 60 year old um, logs down. Then all this salau and miscellaneous scrub just grown around it. Just hasn't been cared for. So we're gonna start caring for the land. And we kind of have a process. So we're gonna get our buddy out with a mini excavator or who does a mini excavator work, kind of tell us what he thinks he could do in a day out here. Based off that, we'll decide how best to approach a day's worth of work in a mini excavator. Um, we're gonna probably get a lot of these piles moved back to a special spot where we can figure out how to process it or burn it, whatever that looks like. Processing it would be chipping it up um, or hauling it away. So, but we'll see. Let me go finish that last little thing and we're gonna call it a day. Oh. Tired, hard getting down. Jake's down here.
The old knees aren't working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I want to go and look at that cabin down there. It's like not that far down. Is that the one that was kind of just north? Isn't that what that is right there on that upcropping? Or is it? Is it just? Interesting. The creek I thought entered doesn't enter. But it's right there. Cool. All right, so a lot happened in that video. It was a two-part video. Next week, we're back out there. I can't remember if we're out there with the excavator or not, but we got a lot of stuff getting done out there. Lots of stuff happening. Um, we're excited to share this journey with you guys. Really excited to, to capture it for our future family and friends to watch too. Um, as always, at the end of our videos, I hope we see you on the trail, guys. Until next time.